nice baby. He misses you. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready okay, soon, love so love you too. Okay. Bye. Such an honor to be able to be driving to this game right now. I think she realizes that she could inspire somebody. This is about Madison Bazal is gonna show you that you can do anything in this world, even when you get knocked down. I have a twin brother named Connor and we grew up playing hockey together. Loved it right away. Maddie was very shy and she would go on that ice and her shyness went away. She was out there having fun. Her ability to play hockey really stemmed from skating. Yeah, she could skate very, very well. Did she foresee that it was gonna be a professional team? Eventually, no. But she was gonna do whatever it was gonna take to get Division One. I. I visited Ohio State and immediately fell in love with it. She was grinning the whole visit, and I'm thinking, oh no, far away from home, I'm not sure if I'm into this, and... She didn't want to go visit any other schools. From the beginning, Sophie Jakes, Gabby Rosenthal, Peyton Levis, and I clicked. We went in the summer before freshman year, and we were like, the workouts were so hard, we were just like, are we going to make it? We always laugh about that, because we're like, in hindsight, that was just such a small part of our journey. A lot of great things. Um, not so great things. My sophomore year, I had felt a lymph node on the side of my neck. Then we got sent home for COVID. Started watching it more. And then I went to the doctor at school. They said we need to remove it. I got a phone call and that was the worst, the worst phone call I've ever had in my life. The worst moment of my life. My diagnosis is nodular lymphocyte, predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. All black cancers rise from the bone marrow. The difference with some of part of these cells, which are lymphocytes, they are born in the bone marrow and then they go to different parts of the body. A lymphoma is basically a growth of one of those lymphocytes. It was very like shocking to me and scary to me. And then immediately called my parents. It was November of 2020 get the phone call and Maddie is hysterical. And she said, I have cancer. And I think I was in shock because I said, no, you don't. They don't just call you over the phone and tell you have cancer. And then she started screaming and said, I have cancer. Uh, it was uh, unreal. We just want to get out there and hug our daughter. Being 12 hours away, you know, you just can't jump in the car and be there in the moment. Thankfully, you know, Nadine called her and said, I'll be over in five minutes to pick you up. It was an emotional day. Coaches prior to me had recruited her, but when you're recruiting kids, you look parents in the eye and you tell them that you're gonna take care of their baby girl like they're one of your own. I just remember like when she told us, I was just like heartbroken, like, what do you do, you know, when your best friend tells you that? My dad was able to come to the first two appointments with diagnosis and then treatment plan. My mom was also there, but couldn't come into the hospital with me because of COVID. For the rest of the journey, they were from afar, supporting me in any way they could, but because of the COVID restrictions that were in place, my teammates and staff at Ohio State was my biggest support system. When something happens, such as one of your players having cancer, how do we come together? We obviously had a, a number of treatment options kind of presented, um, working with the oncologist. The route we went was infusion treatments. After my first treatment, when I woke up from like my nap, I felt so sick and Peyton came and brought me a cookie into my bedroom. <laughs> and that like, is like so small, but like meant so much to me that she was checking on me during that time. <laughs> I didn't want to be like a burden to anyone. Her ultimate goal was, I want to get this treated, but I want to keep playing. I want to be a member of this team and, and be an elite member of this team. On Tuesdays, I would have my treatments. So I would miss practice on Tuesday. I would be at practice the next day, uh, ready to go, prepare for the weekend of games that were coming up. Never missed 172 games during those treatments. It's just incredible. 
she elevated everybody else's game because you didn't have the right to complain about anything when Bazal was going through what she was going through. Our class was really special because we hadn't even made the tournament our freshman year, and then sophomore year, COVID canceled the tournament, and then junior year, we had a look at the tournament, but lost in the semifinals, so I think senior year, it was kind of like everything had built up to this moment. So happy that I was able to raise a national championship trophy. Treatment was once every two months at that point, so it was less of a constant in my mind. It was the craziest, best moment of my life. My last treatment was in July. Then I got the all clear in September that I was done with treatments. It was almost a three year journey at that point. Going through this cancer scare, two things saved Madison, hockey and Easton for Dot. My most sweet, precious angel, baby. <laughs> I love him so much and FaceTime him every day. The type of cancer she has, it never goes away. Once you maintain it, it's kind of like being a diabetic. If you can maintain it, you'll totally be just fine. We have done tremendous advances in cancer across all tumors. The fight will only be over. We can cure all of them, or at least we can transform cancer, less of a cause of death and more of a chronic disease. When I was ringing the bell, the PWHL draft was happening in the next few weeks. To get drafted and play for Montreal is special. It just goes to show when you, you know, perseverance and hard work and dedication and all those other characteristics that she displayed over that period of time. Deep, deep. Got her ready for that opportunity at the next step. Oh, yeah. I just remember thinking, gosh, to get to play professional. You could only have dreamed of this. There's so much to take away from Biz. Makes you grow up really fast. I think that every day is a blessing. Every moment is an opportunity for something great. Take that when you have the chance to. You have a 21-year-old young woman living away from home, dealing with cancer during COVID, nonetheless. So a lot of these appointments, we couldn't even go with her, too. She is the toughest athlete I have ever come across. Pretty wild to think back about everything that has happened. A setback is not gonna stop me from continuing to pursue my dreams.